What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Preselaton and the Miracle Mask. It's getting exciting. We have foiled the plot of Randall's to sink the city by solving the Akbadane puzzle of the Azrans by rising the city. Raising the city, sorry. Oh, yep, let's do it. Getting close to 17 hours. <gasps> this is the end! What? Epilogue! The Court of Miracles. Blah, 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 blah. What now, Professor? I must speak with Randall for a moment. Oh, look how sad he is. Well, he should be, because you're going to jail. Randall needs to know the truth. From this point, you'll be unable to save your game. Are you ready to continue? <gasps> go, go, go! I would really enjoy just a 15-minute cutscene if you can offer that to me. What was that? What happened? Amazing! Is everyone okay? This is the true treasure of the Azran. The riddle we could not have solved 18 years ago, Randall. We were distracted by tales of fortune, while the most valuable archaeological find lay elsewhere all along. You did it! You solved the puzzle of Akbadine! Spectacular! I must hand it to you, Herschel. There is no puzzle without a solution. You taught me that, Randall. Archaeology was nothing more than a passing fancy for you, and still you unearthed all of this. Incredible. I had some help. Randall, are you all right? Your skill has magnified my own faults. Even in revenge, I am a failure. Nonsense. The important thing is that you're with us now. Master Randall. Stay away from me! You stole everything from me! Everything! That's not true. You still don't see? Henry took nothing from you, Randall. You were used. Used? What are you talking about? Everything you were told in those letters was a lie. What do you mean? The police thought there was someone behind the masked gentleman. They were right. Randall here was merely a puppet. There was someone behind the mask, pulling the strings all along. And that person is you! <gasps> hmm. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure, Descolet. <laughs> this freaking guy in his outfit. Well played, Lee. Well played. Descolay? Then where's Angela? I found Angela trapped in a room at the Reunion Inn. Where is she now? Right here. I asked her to wear a costume while we played Descolet's little game. I see. You pretended to be taken in by my Angela disguise until I helped you solve the riddle of Akbadine. You knew that you needed my help if you were to solve that final puzzle. Very good, Descolet. I knew I never should have used this has-been bumpkin. I can't believe what I've done. You're pitiful, Ascot. I gave you back your life and you failed. And later, you must tell me. How did you know? When I first arrived here, I spoke to the real Angela. But I definitely sensed a great unease within her. Angela had suspected Randall of being the masked gentleman all along. That was why she wrote me the letter. She was hoping that I would get to Randall before the police did. She thought that if I confronted Randall, I might be able to get through to him. Yes, go on. 
Despite our history, Angela wasn't sure what I would do if I discovered that Randall was the masked gentleman. But the next time I saw her, there was something different about her demeanor. Her, and from that moment, I began to suspect Angela. Perhaps I was too eager. You gave yourself away when you asked for the Mask of Order to solve the riddle of Okbadai. When I heard of Henry's mask, I needed to find someone to play the masked gentleman. Randall obliged. I had to convince Henry of the power of the Mask of Chaos with our dark miracles. I love that name, don't you? If Henry believed that the Mask of Order could counteract the powers of the masked gentleman, well then, surely he would procure this mask rather than watch his dear city crumble, yes? But when he did not, you grew tired of waiting. You became Angela so that you could get closer to Henry. But Henry still wouldn't reveal the location of the Mask of Order. And he couldn't, because he never had the Mask of Order in the first place. Bravo, Leighton. But I'm afraid all of the deductive reasoning in the world won't change the fact that I've already won. You've actually done my work for me. What do you mean? This has been a pleasure. Many thanks, Leighton. <laughs> Until next time. Hmm. So many good voice actors, such good music. But there's still two mysteries left. The first one and the third from the last. All that time, he was using me? I feel like such a fool. Oh, Randall. Angela. I can hardly believe it. I've been waiting so long for your return. How dare you? You never waited for me. You married Henry. It's not- Traitors! <sighs> After everything I've done for you, Henry, you betray me like this? You stole my ideas and my research. And if that wasn't enough, you stole my love. You couldn't be more wrong, Randall. Henry has been preparing. Preparing for the day you would return home. When I would return? What does that mean? Randall. You should know the truth about Montedor. We have something to tell you. Now, just leave me alone, all of you! Randall, when you disappeared, we didn't know if you'd ever return. We were destroyed, all of us. Your parents took it especially hard, of course. Their businesses failed, and the Ascot House fell into disrepair. All that time, Henry risked his life as he searched for you down in those ruins, but to no avail. In a strange twist of fate, he found the Azran treasure you were searching for all those years ago. Henry supported your parents with his newfound wealth, but he could not truly replace what they had lost. So he did what he could. He worked hard to build Monte d'Or, and he cared for your parents as if they were his own. You... Henry, is this true? It is, Randall. Henry never stopped searching for you. He always believed that you would return someday. He spent a fortune sending search parties down into those awful ruins. He built the Reunion Inn so that they would have a base near the ruins. The Reunion Inn? I believe that was the first building established here in Monte d'Or. Out here, in the middle of nowhere, the Reunion Inn thrived. That was quite a miracle, if you ask me, but not one without a rational explanation behind it. And what was that? Henry announced several rewards for anyone who could find the man named Randall. These rewards were so large that word spread quickly and the Union Inn became a popular haunt. From there, the town prospered. Hotels and shops cropped up everywhere. A thriving city bloomed here in the desert, and Monte d'Or became the city we know today. I... I can't believe it. 
One might say that Monte Dor is built around the idea of your return, Randall. My return? And that is the true miracle behind the city of Monte Dor. I... I don't know what to say. Randall, it appeared as if Henry had stolen your family and your fortune. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, he spent his entire life preserving all that was yours. But Angela... Is... is that my... Randall, my marriage to Henry wasn't real. What? After I lost you, Randall, I didn't know how to go on. My parents kept pressing me to get married. They wanted me to marry the richest man in town, Alphonse Dorsten. I had given up so completely by that time that I probably would have agreed just so that they would leave me alone. But then Henry asked me. I'll never forget it. He said, Will you wait for Master Randall with me? Henry always believed you would come back. He helped me believe too. So we agreed to pretend to be married until the day you returned, Randall. Henry vowed that he would protect and preserve everything of yours. Henry never took anything from you. He protected everything for you. Can it be? Randall? Mother! Can it be? Randall! Oh, if it wasn't for Henry, I don't know what would have happened to me. He took such good care of me, Randall. I understand. Oh, Mother, I thought I'd never see you again. Randall, I believe this is yours. This document is proof of ownership for all properties attributed to the Lador family. It reveals that the Lador family fortune is in fact fully owned by a third party. Third party? All of the land and money attributed to the Ladors is actually in the name of Randall Ascot. How can this be? Henry created a replica of the Mask of Chaos, but not to steal the glory that ought to have been yours. It was the symbol of Monte Dor, a beacon that would draw your attention wherever you were. Henry assumed you would seek out someone claiming to have the Mask of Chaos when you came back. His assumption was correct, but when the masked gentleman appeared, it was clear the police would come asking questions. Angela acted fast. She knew that if the police investigated Henry's mask, they would discover it was a fake. So she hid the mask and claimed it had been stolen in order to preserve the symbol of Monte Dor's prosperity. And also to keep Henry's beacon alive. Randall, do you still feel that Henry has taken something from you? What have I done? You weren't yourself. And now that you are, and back here with us, everything is going to be okay. Henry. This was the true miracle all along. Oh, it's so touching! What is this? An aftershock! I'm sorry, Herschel. I let you down. I can't pull you up. Now give me your other hand. You can let me go now, Herschel. Randall, you must just give me your other hand, Randall. I can't. 
I've betrayed so many people. I'll never forgive myself. I don't deserve to live. Let me go. Randall, I can't! Henry! Master Randall, after all these years, there's no... There's no way... I'm letting you get away from us that easily. Henry. I'm so ashamed of what I've done. And I don't deserve your kindness or your forgiveness. But why? Why would you do all this for me? Master Randall, do you really not know? You've always looked out for me. That's young Master Randall's toy, not yours. You remember your place. Give that back this instant. Honestly, Henry, I don't know what you're thinking. Is this how you were taught? Are you some sort of common thief? I have half a mind to report you to the master of the house. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to play with it. Oh, hello. Sorry to disturb you, young Master Randall. Why did you take Henry's toy? Huh? Huh? Young Master Randall, I think you're mistaken. This is yours. Mm. Oh. No, this is the robot that I gave to Henry. Now then, if you'll excuse oh. us. Oh, what are I you have half a doing? mind to report you to the master of the house. Oh, all right, I'm going. Hmm. Oh. Master Randall, can you please forgive me for playing with your toy? Henry, it's yours now. But it's your favorite. Uh, well, now it's your favorite. How many toys does one boy need, anyway? Come on. We're going on an adventure today. Thank you, Master Randall. I promise to take care of it and always treasure it. Oh. Let's find some more treasure. What do you say? Hmm. You taught me something invaluable that day, Master Randall. And gave me something to treasure. You treated me not just as an equal, Randall, but also as a brother. And that has always meant more to me than any amount of riches ever could. As the years went by, it became clear to me that our friendship was my most valuable treasure. I'm speechless. There's nothing more to say, Master Randall. We all knew you would return. We just didn't think you'd take so long. Henry. Oh, I'm so sorry. No more apologies. Welcome home. Welcome home. Henry. Angela. I'm home. This was a picture-perfect ending. Everything seems to have turned out for the best. Agreed. But I still have several questions about the Aswan civilization, Professor. I mean, how were they able to build all those structures that were below Montador? Indeed. I was wondering that myself. The Aswan were much more advanced than I'd suspected. Who were the Aswan? No, what, Professor? Henry turned out to be an amazing person. He waited so long for his friend to return home, and everything he built all those years was for Randall. It was all quite miraculous. The greatest achievement is often the one that is the most selfless. What other city can claim that it was built on a foundation of loyalty and friendship? None that I know of. Quite fitting. It truly is the city of miracles. Oh, what a happy ending. You would never expect if you don't know the latent games. You would assume it's just like a, a puzzle game with a bunch of mini games, but the stories are all always really good. Ah, a good 17 hours. That's a good length for a video game, I think. 
I'm really glad with the wrap-up and ending. But you know what that means? The next one in line is on its way. So that'll probably be next Monday when the next one comes out. I don't, I don't remember the name of the next one. But whatever that one's called, that's going to be out. So thank you all for sticking around for this series. And stay tuned for the next game. Bye-bye. So then it has come to pass, and we shall see if the Azran were worth my trouble. I have sacrificed everything for this moment. Master, you've done it. Behold, the Nautilus Chamber of Akbadine. It's quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Huh? Hold your ground. It is perfect weather for a day of world domination. Trespassers, this site is now controlled by Targent. Do we go quietly? These cowards are not in charge here. You are not recognized as any type of authority. And you disgust me with your demented worldview. I will not let you steal that which I have earned! He's of no concern. Forget him. Secure the last of the Azran ruins. Years of work. Well worth it. Well worth it. Miss Tallery's Garden of Healing. Ambrosia, the City of Harmony. And now, the Nautilus Chamber of Akbadine. We finally have all three of the great legacies. And when I'm finished, the power of the Azran civilization shall be ours. <laughs>